So we just touched on an overview of how free enterprise and socialism work. Here's another good example of how these two systems affect our lives. You've heard of a little company called Apple Computer, right? Steve Jobs built the first Apple computer out of his garage back in 1976, and today Apple is one of the most profitable companies in the world. It was the free enterprise system that allowed him the freedom to start his company by seeking investors who wanted to make money. Jobs gambled and won, creating great wealth for himself, his employees, and stockholders. If Steve Jobs had lived under socialism, Apple and its amazing products would not exist. Jobs became rich by working hard and coming up with great products at affordable prices. This is all based on the American ideal of the pursuit of happiness, which happens to be in our Declaration of Independence. Competition, innovation, and the pursuit of profits are all at the heart of a free society. And that's what motivates people to do incredible things. Sounds good, right? But wait a minute. What about the inequality of free enterprise? People say it's unfair because the rich are too rich and everyone is not equal. Socialism sounds so much better, right? Share the wealth. Everyone gets an equal share. Who wouldn't want that? Well, let's take a look at Venezuela. Until the late 1990s, Venezuela was a wealthy free enterprise country known for its oil, beauty queens, and relaxed, prosperous, happy people. And today, Venezuelans are rioting in the streets, fighting to move away from the socialist ideals pushed by former President Chavez. Under socialist rule, the Venezuelan economy has fallen apart. What happened? It started with major welfare programs, then the government confiscation of private property and businesses, followed by price controls at unprofitable pricing, causing severe shortages. And look at the results. This is all from bad policy, not the often blamed drop in oil prices. And today, the government has evolved into a dictatorship. This is socialism at work. Socialism is not compassionate, and it is not equal. Socialism stops people from having the freedom of choice. Socialism crushes people's motivation, their incentive, and their ambition. And it is all done in the name of the greater good. And there's one really good reason why socialism doesn't work. The idea behind it is against the basic human nature. Free market systems offer the incentive we need because we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. History clearly shows that the more a country embraces economic freedom and free markets, the more prosperous it becomes. Simply put, economic freedom is the answer to socialism because it recognizes individual rights, respects them, and allows people to take charge of their own lives and lift themselves up. If you really think about it, it really all boils down to common sense. Remember, this is no way to pick our next leader. Don't just leave the next election to chance. Think before you vote. To learn more, please stay tuned for part three.